Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tommy and today we are talking about a subject that is really passionate to me and a car that is just blowing up in the classic car market. That is the Jeep Cherokee. Yes, that's right. That quirky boxy SUV you've seen around for the last 30 years that are seemingly everywhere have become significantly valuable in the classic car market. Something that I am just totally confused by and we're gonna ask you guys a question out there. And this is where you guys come in. This is actually an interactive episode because I'm gonna post a link in the description below. And after you watch this video, click that link and go to our website and vote for yourselves. Are these classic jerkies worth the price or are they simply too expensive and is this just a bubble? And we're gonna get into exactly what I'm talking about right now. So the Jeep Cherokee came out in 1984. It's kind of a small SUV for everybody. It was very boxy, it had a choice of engines, it was well made, and it was available in four wheel drive. That was basically the shtick around the Cherokee. But over the years, it gained a reputation as being incredible off-road, as being an affordable car to drive around daily, as being just a great all-rounder. They became very popular, so popular in fact, that they sold over 2.1 million Cherokees in nearly a 20 year run. The initial impression that you get when driving these older XJs is just how much visibility there is. The windshield is huge. You can easily see out the side windows. Lots of visibility out of that vertical rear window. The other interesting thing is these Cherokees are small. They're really small on the outside, but you get in here, tons of headroom, tons of legroom, both front and back. A great use of space, and I think part of that is due to the boxy design. It really is an effective way of designing a vehicle for maximum cargo capacity. They sold a lot of them, and then a lot of them hit the used market, and they became largely worthless. A couple of years ago, you could get a really clean, fairly low mileage Jeep Cherokee for three or four thousand dollars. Well, within the last year, maybe year and a half, the prices have just gone through the roof for really nice examples. And I'm not even talking about like showroom pristine examples, I'm talking about fairly run of the mill everyday Cherokees. If you look at the classic car market right now for Jeep Cherokees, they really fall into one of two camps. You go on Craigslist and you can find a bunch of them for a grand or two grand or three grand that have 200, 300,000 miles and huge rust holes and tons of issues. And then there seems to be a gap of about seven grand before you get to the cars that are 10, 12, 13, even $16,000 for ones that have 100, 120,000 miles and are in fairly good condition. But there really is nothing in between and we're seeing more and more and more of these Cherokees sell for over $10,000. A couple years ago, I bought a fairly low mileage, fairly clean XJ on Craigslist a 1991 Laredo for $3,300. My plan was to turn it into an off-roader. Well, I put some money into it and I discovered it was just simply far too nice, far too original to do that. So I was kind of stuck with it. I'm like, do I hold on to it? Do I modify it? Do I drive around? Do I sell it? Well, at the end of the day, I didn't really have a need for it. I already had a couple other vehicles. It was fun to drive, but it was just too clean to off-road, which is my passion. So someone suggested I put it up on Bring a Trailer, which is a classic car auction website. It costs $99 to list. I listed it for no reserve thinking I was gonna get my money back, hoping I'd get my money back. So at this point I had about four grand into it, maybe $4,200. And I got $9,700 at the end of the week for this clean XJ. And granted, it was a very nice example. It had 92,000 miles, it had a couple bumps and bruises, but it was very clean overall. This vehicle was bought new here in Denver, Colorado in 1991 by a scientist in Boulder where we're located. Now this scientist owns this vehicle for most of its life and was meticulous about its records. But he passed away at some point and the vehicle ended up at a used car dealership who the scientist was friends with. Uh, the owner of the used car dealership then sold it to this guy in college and then I bought it off this guy in college. So really I'm the third owner over its life. So then I started looking around a little bit more and I found out that's kind of on the low end of what some of these Jeep Cherokees are going for nowadays. For example, take a look at this auction recently that sold on Bring a Trailer. It's a 1998 white total base model. It doesn't have the nice wheels, it has roll up windows, it has basically no options, and it's not even that low mileage in terms of the classic car world. 93,000 miles, it sold for over $10,000 for a Cherokee. Here's another example. This is a 95 two-door 
which in some ways is less desirable because you can't use the rear seat and parts are harder to find. Uh, it has 111,000 miles and it's not even an original car. It's been modified. It's all right, but once again, base model roll-up windows, $10,500. Then you've got this 92 Jeep Cherokee, just like mine, but with more mileage, granted with a five-speed manual, over $16,000. And it's not even these super low mileage clean ones that are commanding a lot of money and bring a trailer. Look at this 01 Jeep Cherokee Sport. It's been modified, has over 100,000 miles, and it sold for nearly $14,000. Now let me give you a little bit of background of the Cherokee. They're great cars. Like I mentioned, they were very well made, very reliable. Most of them had the Jeep 4 liter straight six, which is a bulletproof engine. Um, most of them had the AW4 automatic transmission, which was dead reliable, a lot of them had a 5-speed manual, which was also very good. They'll last an exceptionally long time, even with minimal maintenance, but it still blows my mind that now on this classic car website, they're going for 10, 13, 16 grand, which is hilarious to me because just a few years ago, if you looked around, they were basically disposable cars. People bought them for their kids for not a lot of money with about 100,000 miles, or people bought them for off-roading. They'd heavily modify them, and then they'd pull the axles out of them once they were completely destroyed from hard trail use and just slap them on another one, throw the old one away. And you could do that because they made 2.1 million of the things. So this is kind of where I'm a little bit perplexed. It was a great car. I think it was slightly undervalued for a lot of years. And now I think it's slightly overvalued because at the end of the day, there is a tremendous amount of supply out there. And even if not every one of them has sub 100,000 miles that's the original, there's still gonna be a lot out there with sub 100,000 miles that are dead original. Now, of course, this could just be a bring a trailer thing because if you look around on Craigslist, you can still find pretty good ones for fairly uh, little money. So for example, in Denver, I found one uh, with 125,000 miles for five grand. So they're still out there, but now they're becoming collector's items. Now they're becoming a lot more desirable. So if you guys out there have low mileage Cherokees, please keep them original because that's how they're worth the most and consider selling them and bring a trailer if you're looking at making a profit because it turns out that a lot of people out there are paying a lot of money for these old Cherokees. I'll tell you what actually, for being a Jeep that is almost 30 years old, it's not too rattly. It's pretty soft, pretty compliant. Steering is firm. Yeah, it's because the rear shocks are shot. It's, it's compliant by virtue of time, I think. So we have leaf springs in the rear, but coils in the front. And on these mild rocks, they really do soak up the bumps super effectively. I'd say it's more comfortable than a modern vehicle. Yeah, maybe, maybe even more comfortable than um, a modern crossover. So here's the question, are they worth it? And this is where you guys are gonna have to go over to TFL Car, link in the description below and vote because I wanna go out and see what you guys think in the coming days. Check back and see if you guys think that 10, 11, 12, 16 grand for a 20 year old Cherokee is worth it. Now, if you are looking at buying a Cherokee for investment, the lower the mileage, the better the more original the better and there's actually two different generations there's 84 through 96 which are a lot more squared off with the classic interior and then 96 through 2001 i always like the older cars but it turns out that the newer cars are just as valuable even with the updates the guy who bought mine seems very happy with it so congratulations um, and it turns out that maybe you got a pretty good deal because some of these prices on some of the ones that have gone up recently are just mind-blowing we're talking about basically base model largely similar to postal Jeeps that are commanding 12 grand, $12,000. A few years ago, that would have been four grand all day long. So let me know in the comment section below, is this just a bit of an anomaly or is this a trend? We're just gonna see these classic Cherokees keep rising. Because if you look back, maybe 2015, we saw an explosion of the classic SUV market with the Broncos going for 30, 40, 50, $70,000. So I wonder if the, the tide is kind of lifting all boats here if that now the Cherokees are getting more valuable as well, or if this is just, you know, a one-time thing for the Cherokee and we're gonna start seeing the prices come down because I love these cars. I really I really hope they don't get unattainable for the average guy. Uh, they're still really fun off-road. They're still great off-road projects, but if good ones are going for 15 grand now, I don't think I could off-road that. I'd feel really bad about it. Luckily, they built so many of them that there are some deals out there. Head over to tflcar.com for the latest and greatest in everything reviews. 
check out that poll and come back to TFL Classics for more classic valuation videos.